A pound of ground beef costs five dollars. A one third pound hamburger at the restaurant costs five dollars. The chef working at the restaurant gets paid eight fifty per hour to cook burgers, and the waiter gets paid six fifty an hour to serve burgers. That five dollars worth of ground beef becomes fifteen dollars taken in by the restaurant after it has been cooked and made into burgers by the chef and served by the waiter and sold to three people. The waiter and chef working together to value the certain value of the ground beef by making it into something to eat at the restaurant. If four burgers are sold in 15 minutes for a total of $20, the cost of materials and the cost of labor have been taken care of for the owner. The waiter and chef paid their fixed wage for the hour right. will have been paid for the value they have added to the ground beef and have thus at this time been justly compensated. Yes, $15 in wages would account for the value they added to the ground beef. But they must continue working the rest of the hour and are not paid for the further value they add to the ground beef for the next 45 minutes left in the hour. The capitalist gets that labor for free. The existence of money only enables the few to profit off the seemingly paid for labor of the many, and only the capitalist benefits from maintaining this appearance. A drug dealer doesn't tell you that he's going to pay $20 for the bag of drugs you're going to buy for $30, because if you knew, you would probably ask him for your $10 back. He wants to profit, not disinterestedly keep supplies flowing.